Here at Friends, they're gonna draw a possum. Yeah, we, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's draw our possum's head on the left side of our paper so that we have room for the body. Let's draw two eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle this size and another circle the same size, but with a little space in between. Now let's add another circle in the top left to make our eyes look shiny. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Now let's draw the nose. I'm gonna draw it down here and draw another circle. And then we can draw the cheeks. We're gonna start here on the nose and we're gonna draw a curve that comes out to the side, just under the eye. And we can do the same thing on the right side. Come out and underneath the right eye. Now let's add a little zigzag for the fur on our possum's cheeks. And then we can draw the top of our possum's head. We're gonna draw an upside down U to connect the two cheeks together. You got big head. Yeah, <laughs> and we could draw the ear. Let's draw a little line that comes out. And then let's curve down. And we can also draw the inside of the ear. We'll draw a little curve like that. Let's repeat those same steps for the right side. We'll draw a diagonal line coming out and then curve down. And then the little curve for the middle of the ear. Let's add a little design on the forehead. We could start here on the ear. We're gonna come down over the eyes and then back up and connect to the other side. Looks like his hair. Yeah, it kinda, it kinda does. <laughs> now let's draw the neck. We're gonna draw a little line that comes down from the cheek or the nose. And let's draw the first arm. We're gonna draw a diagonal line, it comes down, and then we're gonna curve back up. Now let's draw the fingers. I'm gonna draw a little curve. It looks like the letter J. And then we'll start up a little higher. We'll draw another one. It looks like another letter J. And then let's do another finger right here at the end. And this time let's connect up to the arm. Let's repeat that same step so that he has, or she has another front arm. So let's draw the diagonal line coming down on the other side of the nose. And then we're gonna curve back up like we did for this arm. Yeah. Then let's repeat the same steps for the fingers. We'll draw a little backwards J, then we'll come up a little higher, draw another backwards J, and then one more and connect into the arm. Yes, we did it. Okay, now let's draw the belly. We're gonna imagine this little line right here, the neckline, coming behind the arm and coming out on the other side of the arm. I'm gonna draw zigzag lines coming back to the right. Now let's draw our possums back. I'm gonna start here and draw a curve that comes up. Oh, I'm gonna add a couple of zigzags. And then I think we should add some babies. I'm gonna draw a baby head. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and then back up. Looks like the letter U. And then right at the end, let's draw a little nose. And we could draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw two little ovals. And then we can connect the top of the head. And then let's draw the ears. We'll draw, looks like an oval shape on the left and also on the right, or an upside down U. Oh, and then we could draw this little design on the forehead like we did on the mama possum. We'll come down and then up over the other eye. Let's repeat that same step and draw another baby right next to this one. So I'm gonna draw the letter U, then we'll draw the nose at the end, and two oval shapes for the eyes. 
I did that quicker because we're just repeating the same steps. Then we can connect the top of the head and maybe that design that goes over the eyes. What are we missing? The ears. Yeah, ears. Let's draw an oval shape for the left ear and also for the right ear. Let's fast forward and repeat those same steps and add at least two more babies. I also added a couple extra ones on top just for fun. I love yours so much. You could even add more, but let's leave it just like that. Let's draw the back leg. We're gonna start here and we'll draw a curve that comes down and then watch this. I'm gonna come back up over here and connect to the side of the baby's head. Of the bubba. The bubba. <laughs> come down and then you can curve around and up and connect. Yeah, all right, now let's draw the back foot. We're gonna repeat the same steps. I'm gonna draw a little backwards J, then another one, and one more, and then connect to finish the foot. All right, now let's, let's add one more foot back here. I'm gonna draw a little U shape, and then we can repeat the same steps for the fingers. We'll draw a backwards J, Another one, and then connect into the leg. What are we missing? The tail. Yeah, let's draw a big tail that curves around to the front or underneath our possum. And then we'll draw the other side of the tail. We'll start at the end of that curve. And as we get closer to the body, I'm gonna get further away so the tail gets thicker. We did it, awesome. We finished drawing our possum. It looks really cool, except we still need to do one more thing. Color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you could pause the video and match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. and drawing our possum and our little possum babies. It looks really cute. I especially love it, all colored in. Yeah, me too. I hope our art friends color their drawings also. You can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. You can also add a background. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They both turned out awesome. And that's because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. And we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.